Hi, I'm Jordan the IT Guy, also known as Jordan Benzing, and welcome to a TrueSec blog. So you've already installed to do tree at this point, but you're probably wondering how to use it. If you just type in random characters, it doesn't really do anything. And that's kind of annoying. But if you do hashtag to do, it does something. Let me show you how to figure this out. So first we'll turn on screencast so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna pull up the settings. Notice I'm pulling it up in the JSON editor and there's nothing there. Quick trip over to his website. And if we scroll down here, we'll find that we've got an example of some code that we can stick in that JSON setting. Copy that. Easy peasy. And back to our settings at JSON. Quick little paste. And presto change on. Now we can actually see exactly how it's configured. Let's take one last look at our settings. And remember, I'm using colors, but you can actually use hex code colors to define these. And hey look, it's actually the color gray in the background like it said it should be, and red in the front. And if we do fix me, it'll be gray, and we'll have a little fire icon on the left hand side of it. Look at that. Oh yeah, and also, we can turn on the gutter icons too in the sidebar. So, what exactly is it that makes it do that? Each one of these pieces inside of the JSON here controls what it looks like. So we got icon, which controls the picture. Icon color, which is the color of the picture. Type, text, or line, which allows us to either highlight just the text or an entire line. So you can't tell exactly what I'm doing here, but I'm pasting over with my preferred colors. I'd like Clippy instead. I don't necessarily want, you know, all these particular settings. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change a couple other things around. There's one more thing I need to do, and that is I need to remember to add the tag. If you don't add a tag to to-do tree, it doesn't understand that it should use that as a tag. So I've added the word complete here. If we jump back to the settings, you can now see that we have this dot tags extension that's been added here because we've added something that's outside the defaults. Now if I put in the word complete, hey, it triggers my tag. Bug triggers my tag, as does fix me. Pretty neat. Now, you'll notice there's nothing over here in the actual tree itself. In order to get the tree itself to populate so we can jump around, we need to save the file. Now, we can jump anywhere in the code and it lists it out. This one's a little more complicated. This is my normal editor that I use on a daily basis. It's got, shall we say, a few other highlights. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at JordanTheITGuy. Or, you can tag TrueSec.